Welcome to part two of Little Wings Guitar Tutorial. My name is Paige Armstrong and in this video what I'd like to cover is the first three verses before the course. And uh, we're going to take a look at uh, what Stevie's playing and um, you saw there in the intro me playing through the part. So it's um, it has some really cool interesting riffs uh, definitely that I, um, I learned and uh, hopefully uh, yeah this will help you with learning the song. All right, so let's take a look at the first part here. So we're starting on the third fret, the G. And we're just bending slightly to the A, back to the G, and then we're gonna trill on the second fret of the D string. And I start with it open. Okay, and then you hammer on and hammer off. I'm not doing anything with my right hand. We go to the third fret, the G. Okay, so then I'm sliding up. And I do a couple hammer-ons there. Sliding up from the fifth fret to the seventh on the A string, to the fifth fret on the D string. So that A riff is a lot of fun. And then we're just doing a harmonic there. But I'll go back to the A quickly first. Break that down as slow as I can. It's hard to play it slow, but I'll see what I can do. open E and then the B minor so we're going to go I upstroke OK, 
okay? To the G. So that first part again. part two. So part two, come out of that intro little riff there in the, on the D. And this is where Stevie's really playing delicately. It's all in the fingers. When I did the intro, I was playing through four different amplifiers, all on six and a half volume wise, uh, which is loud. One of them being uh, um, 150 watts. So and I uh, was using a Leslie as well on slow. So you're able to get that touch and that attack from how you dig into the guitar. Right now when I'm teaching this, I'm just going through my amps on low volume so I can talk over my playing. So um, here we go, we're, we're rolling the down the volume. I like to be here just, just close to seven at this. What I'm doing is I'm going from the 14th on the D string from a quick 12 to a 14 on the G string and then bending it up. And that's just 12 on the D string, 14, 13, 12 on the A string. So we're holding that 14th on the D string. Stops there. And so here what we're doing is we're going from the 12th to the 10th, 12th on the low E, 10th on the A string. Okay, so I'll do that part again. We're doing the next part we've got the 14th on the D string and the 12th on the high E at the same time so I just like use my finger to pick the, the high E string and then we're just going we're going from that 14th to the 12th on the G string to the 14th on the G string Let's get to there. So you're doing all stuff in the pentatonic scale, but it's just that kind of pattern. I'm just sliding up to the 14th on the A string. And then the third part. And 
just hitting the octaves there. Okay, so that part. And then we go to, we slide from the 11th to the 12th on the G string and the 14th to the 15th on the high E at the same time. And you pick faster. So a little bit slower. So one more time. part so over the G we do a little bit of slide up and then we go into the next part Alright, that concludes part two of Steve Ray Vaughan's version of Little Wing. Just like the first part, the song is in E flat, so be sure to tune your guitar down a semitone. Also, too, just remember to uh, take your time with this one. There's uh, lots of nice little riffs. I didn't make the video too long. I could have broken every note down, but I wanted to keep it uh, as short as I possibly could for you guys on YouTube so it's not too boring for you. So uh, if you need to see something, please just rewind it and hopefully you can see my fingers. If you uh, have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get uh, answers for you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like. And if you haven't hit subscribe, please hit subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And uh, stay tuned for part three. We'll be looking at the first two courses. So take care and uh, take your time.